chances are they've gone to public school. That's a very high likelihood. They've either gone to public school or they're going through a college education. I am not here to justify what happens. I am here to first try to share a reality with all of our parents, our respected parents that are sitting in the audience. And I feel your pain because I'm a parent myself. My girls are about to turn teenagers. I'm terrified to death. I feel your pain. I'm going to be in your shoes soon. And may Allah protect all of us parents, you know. But let me tell you something. These, these girls and these boys, they've gone to college. Chances are they've seen a girl they like or a guy that they like. Chances are that's already happened. Chances are they've had a couple of conversations already. Even in the most respectful setting. Maybe it happened at the MSA. Maybe it happened at the <gasps> RIS convention. Maybe it happened... <laughs> yeah, it, it may have happened. Actually, it did. Okay. And, and, you know, and I'm not just talking about the matrimonial section and all of that. I'm, I'm talking about just at the bazaar. Hey, nice hijab there. This is, you know, like, like that. You know, isn't that calligraphy amazing? That's, some people start their conversations like that. One of the reasons I like to walk around in the bazaar is to see the contemporary pickup lines by Muslim youth. Uh, they're, not, they're not very good nowadays. But anyway, it's fun to watch. But anyway, this has already happened. And they've got certain preferences. They've got something in their heart. And they want to tell you. But you know what? The girl's Palestinian. And she's thinking about a good brother. He's a good brother. But he's astaghfirullah al-azim Egyptian. <laughs> or you know, it's a Pakistani guy. And he wants to marry this girl. And she's la hawla wa la quwata billah billah. She's Syrian. You know, and he's really scared to tell his parents. He's really scared to even mention the idea. Because the, the Arab father will say, Mustahilun wa ana hai. You know, Mere jite ji ye hargiz nahi hoga. I want to tell you a really sad yet funny story. You, any of you guys know Sheikh Abdul Nasser? Well, Sheikh Abdul Nasser is a good friend of mine. He's got a very twisted sense of humor. We like to go to conventions together and especially observe youth behavior. It's a thing we do. So we're at one of these conventions Obviously, most youth are not in the lecture, they are outside the lecture. So we skip the lectures too. So we were hanging outside the convention center, we're walking by, there's a bunch of guys and girls talking or whatever, you know. We're not going to be the Sharia police and, you know, we just want to see what they're doing, you know. So we're walking by and this, this guy, so slick, man. So, so slick. This guy goes to this girl, he goes, Today is the saddest day of my life. <laughs> now, Abdul Nasir and I are walking. We both stop. We're like, we gotta hear this. <laughs> this I, I mean, this, this is golden right here. I mean, I didn't tell He does not know we're standing behind him. Okay? He does not know. Anyway, that's status doing my life. This girl goes, oh, why? <laughs> and he goes, well, after today, I'm gonna go back to Ohio, and I don't even know your name. <laughs> and at this point, Abdul Nasser and I are looking at each other like, <laughs> and he can't help himself. Abdul Nasser cannot, he's a Texan. He goes, Booyah, boy, that's a lie with him. <laughs> so he turns the guy around to shake my hand, bro. That was amazing. I was like, yeah, can I take a picture with you, bro? That was an amazing time. All the teenagers disappeared. <laughs> Needless to say, there are some very interesting interactions between young Muslim men and women that happen on many settings. Parking lots of massages, Sunday school, Islamic school, MSA, conventions, you name it. There are some interesting interactions that happen at the bazaar. You know. <laughs> Naturally, a single girl, one girl, talking to one man, she's supposed to feel hesitation. In a normal circumstance, you should not be comfortable talking to guys. That's not the natural state for you. And if you become totally comfortable talking to the MSA president for hours and hours, then there is a problem with that. That's not the normal way you're supposed to be. Allah didn't make you like that. Allah put istihya in you. Now when there's two of you, you can be in the meeting and confident. I don't think you know what you're doing. I don't think the program should be on the third, it should be on the fifth. And we're not making that ugly fire, we're making our fire ourselves. You can assert yourself because you're in a group. But when you're by yourself, Okay, whatever you say. Uh, 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 uh. You, gotta, you gotta learn where to draw the line. You know, you have to do that. And you, you guys too, don't take advantage of the shyness of girls. And then sister, I wanted to discuss the convention with you. No, you didn't. Stop. There are plenty of other people you can discuss. Why don't you BCC her father with her? <laughs> then discuss the convention. I'm sure her 
father won't mind the convention discussion. 